Hi, Word of Faith Centre Sunday School. I hope you're well. I'm Diane and I'm going to be teaching you this week. Before I go on, I just wanted to say happy birthday to anybody who's celebrated a birthday this week. And that is such a blessing. You've seen 365 days. That's awesome. And I hope you had a lovely day celebrating it with your family. So I wanted to recap on what you did last week. So last week you had a special Sunday school and you were learning all about... Who's that? Who are you learning about? Yes, Noah and the hope and the promise that God gave him and the display of the promise that God did, which was the rainbow in the sky. And I hope you did some lovely drawings for us to see soon. So this week, we're going to recap on Abraham and look at a final lesson around Abraham. So you've been talking about Abraham and all the promises that God made him. And you had to learn or write down some of the promises that God made. Can you remember them? Press the pause button and just tell somebody in your room or tell one of your parents one of the promises that God made to Abraham. I'll wait here. Go on. Brilliant. Yes, there were so many promises that God gave to Abraham. And did you know, if you are a believer in Jesus, that these promises also belong to you and to your family? Because Abraham was an example to us and God loves us just as much as he does Abraham. And he wants these promises to be for us as well. So we're going to look at Genesis 22, 1 to 15. And in this scripture, in these verses, it talks about how God tested Abraham. And there's a link below that links to a story that you can watch with your parent or your carer. So God told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. Isaac, why would he sacrifice Isaac, his son, who he waited 25 years to have? At one point, Abraham and Sarah didn't even know if they were going to have a son because they waited for so long and they were quite old, weren't they? Which is not a problem, but they were old. And God was faithful to his word. Sarah had a baby and he grew up to be a good, a, a lovely boy. And they named him Isaac, which actually means laughter. I don't know if you know that. So God told him, to sacrifice Isaac. And I'm sure Abraham was thinking in his mind, why would I sacrifice Isaac? I've waited so long for him. And also, how are all these promises that you told me is gonna come true if I sacrifice him? But Abraham obeyed God. And God told Abraham where to go. So early one morning, Abraham got up, and he took two of his servants with him and Isaac. And they traveled for three days to a place where God told him to go to a mountain. And I'm, I wonder what was going through Abraham's mind at that time. Shall I obey God? Shan't I obey God? Is he good? Is he not good? Why would he tell me this to do, to do this? Why wouldn't he tell me to do this? I'm sure he had so many questions going on in his head. But in Abraham's heart, he wanted to obey God because he knew that God was good. So then they re reached the mountain that God told Abraham to go to. And Abraham told the two servants to wait here while he and a Isaac goes up the mountain to sacrifice Isaac. At this time, Isaac didn't know what was going on. He was just following his, his, his dad. He was just being obedient to his dad, which is good as well. In those days and in today's day as well, the Bible does tell us that we should obey our parents and honour our mother and our father. As long as they're not telling you to do something wrong, that you know it's wrong in your heart, but it's good to obey your parents. So Isaac was doing exactly that, obeying Abraham as they went up this mountain. And 
Isaac was actually asking a lot of questions and you'll see it when you listen to the story and when you read the story with your carer or your parent. Isaac was saying, well, God, where, Abraham, where is, the, where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Because at this point, Abraham was building an altar to do the sacrifice and he couldn't see any lamb or ram or anything. But Abraham said, son, God will provide. And that's the faith that Abraham had because he knew that God would provide for him. Even if he had to kill Isaac because that's what God told him to do, he was willing to obey God to do that. So they got up to the mountain. Abraham, as I said, built the altar and he put Isaac on the altar and he was just about to kill him when an angel told Abraham, stop. And then God said to Abraham, Abraham, I can see that you fear me and that you trust me. Do not harm the boy. And then he, Abraham took Isaac off the altar and he turned around and he saw a ram stuck in, in the bushes. So he took the ram, him and Isaac, and he killed the ram and sacrificed the ram unto God. And Isaac, I, Abraham... Uh, named this place the Lord will provide which means that God will always provide for his people when they obey in particular so this story really is a good story in the fact that God tested Abraham and Abraham passed the test and God made Abraham you've learned lots about Abraham over the last couple of weeks and what I'd like you to do is just to think about what you've learned and also the promises that you've learnt as well. And to pick one of those promises and to write it on a card like this. And to stick it somewhere where you can read it every day. For instance, one of the promises is, I will bless you. So God will bless you and make you a blessing to others. So when you get up in the morning, you can read it and say, Father God, thank you that you want to bless me and you want me to be a blessing to others. And you can also encourage your parents to say it with you or your sibling if you have one. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon and have a lovely week.